All right, everybody. Uh, just uh, I wanted to do a quick little update video on this uh, O2 sensor nonsense. Um, I was able to find my other O2 sensor, and it's actually the the stock one. It's the Holly O2 sensor. So the one I have in there now, I believe, is a a Bosch sensor. But I'm going to uh, just power it up real quick and see what happens. I haven't started it or messed with this really since the last video. So, let's see what happens here. Alright, yep, same thing as last time. Let's see how she starts up. Yep. Immediately to unplug. I mean, it's running good, but yeah, it's just immediately to unplug. It's just not reading that sensor at all. So I'm gonna go and swap those out real quick and see what I can figure out. All right, swapping these guys out should be pretty dang easy. Sorry. All right, swapping the so 2 sensor out should be pretty easy. Just right here. Plug is right here, nice and straightforward. Should be the same exact plug as the other one. Plugs directly in to the harness. Okay. <laughs> See some exhaust stuff coming out of there. Nice. So I believe this O2 sensor came with came with my AEM kit right there. I'm no longer using that. I'm just having it go right through the holly. So maybe this sensor just isn't exactly the same, but you can see it's pretty dark and beaten up. I think it's just has taken its toll and when you compare it to the Holly, I mean they're they're pretty identical but they have a little bit of differences and this Holly one I would never used it. Maybe the other guy did but yeah I haven't used this one yet so we're gonna put this one in and uh see if maybe that fixes the issue. Alright, let's get this guy in. Hopefully she plugs right in. Should be the same exact pin out. Yep. Boom. There we go. Let's tighten her up. Alright. Old sensors out. New sensors in. Let me tuck this so this doesn't catch on fire. And yeah, let's uh, I'm gonna start it back up and give it a shot. All right, ready to start it back up. See if anything changes at all with this new sensor. Okay, nothing there. Let's see what happens. It goes right down plug. So that doesn't solve the issue whatsoever. It actually seemed to actually run a little bit better with the other O2 sensor, but maybe it's just not warm yet or something. Alright, I'm gonna uh, turn this thing off and see what I can figure out. Alright, I'm uh, <clears throat> getting ready to call Holly Tech. Uh, it seems like Mostly everything I've read so far is pointing to a bad ECU on the, the Holly Sniper, and it seems like it's a pretty common issue from all the uh, the forum threads that I've been reading, but I'm not too sure. I'm going to call and see if uh, they have anything else to say about it. 
So Holly Tech support is closed right now. It figures it's eight o'clock here. So um, yeah, they're not open past five. So not a big deal. But uh, what I can do is I can change the system to uh, run an open loop. So it's no longer taking readings from the O2 sensor. It's just going off what it's already learned. And uh, I'm gonna do that real quick and uh, see what happens. Okay, just wanted to show you real quick how to get into your settings here and change it. So, you just set your basic settings, close loop learn, go to close loop, set of enable, you want disabled. Okay, fuel learn, I'm going to shut that off too, since it's not getting a good reading from the uh, O2 sensor, no need to have that on. And I'm going to go into the advanced, go into close loop, that's disabled, cool. Close loop 2, nothing there. And uh, everything should be good, so I'm going to start it up and see what happens. Hopefully it should, uh, should run pretty good. Alright, messing around with it some more. I was able to get it to uh, read AFR again. It's reading 35.6 though, so it's definitely not right. But I was thinking, I have my AEM gauge in here, and I can actually test out to see if that O2 sensor is working. Uh, I put the old one back in, um, the Holy one didn't seem to work at all, but I'm going to uh, plug in the O2 sensor into this gauge, and if we get a reading on it, then I'd say it's uh, the Holly. Okay, move some stuff around, Holly still reads nothing, and I ran that O2 sensor wire over to my... Uh, old AEM gauge that wasn't plugged in, but we'll see if this O2 sensor is actually fried or if it's just the Holly. Holly's running an open loop, so it should run. It's not running great, but it's running. And, yep, O2 sensor's reading. It's reading very rich right now, but that's probably just the Holly right now running an open loop so it's not really adjusting anything but yeah so it's it's giving off a signal so it's not the O2 sensor and that leaves uh, the ECU or some other issue with that so I'll be calling them tomorrow to see what they say about it yep yeah, so the Holly is still reading on plug to let it warm up a little bit more and you can watch when I rev it it's gonna show a reading All right, so that's all I'm doing tonight. Uh, pretty much eliminated it down to the uh, Holly Sniper, unfortunately. Uh, it's never really given me any issues before, and I really like the thing, so I'll call them tomorrow, and hopefully we can get this all settled out. I'll send it to them, and maybe uh, maybe I'll have it back in a couple weeks or something. I'm not too sure. I'll do a quick little update video when I, when I find out what exactly the uh, process is going to be, but I'll let you guys know. Thanks.